So today I'm going to kiss test and review four Revlon Colorstay Ultimate Liquid Lipsticks. If you like this video, please hit subscribe. Here, I'll give you something else to play with, okay? Oh, he's so strong. <laughs> so the four colors I have are Vigorous Violet, Brilliant Bordeaux, Ultimate Orchid, and Iconic Iris, which I'm wearing right now. Now I love these lipsticks. For me, these are like the OG of <laughs> liquid lipsticks because these are the first ones I remember trying. And I remember just being like amazed of how food proof they were. So we'll see if they're kiss proof. I'm guessing they are with any transfer resistant lipstick. Um, sometimes they'll fail, like they'll fail, like they'll pass nine times out of 10 and then fail. So. Keep in mind for all my videos, when I post a result, it's the most common result I get with that. So like if you buy these and you swear they don't work for you, like they transfer all the time, I post what the most common result is for me. So this is a drugstore brand. You can get this at Walmart, Shoppers, pretty much anywhere. Retails between eight and $13, depending if it's on sale. These claim to be food proof, and I agree, I think they are. They are one of the more food proof lipsticks. They claim to be food, food proof and 24 hour wear. I, I think so, I've never worn them for 24 hours, why would you? But they are very hard to get off when you do try to get them off. Is ultimate orchid this is probably my favorite light pink of any brand just in general um, the best part about this one is it's really food proof like you can pretty much eat anything and it still looks good it is also the most opaque one it goes on it covers the most if that's something you're into so all these have a slight stick um, which I'm not a fan of, but it's not as bad as other lipsticks. Mwah. Oh, someone's tired. Is it bedtime? Mwah. Mwah. Yeah, it doesn't get on them. Mwah. Mwah. gets on him. I'm just gonna show you how this one works best with just a thin layer. Um it's not dry yet buddy. No. I'm dry I'm gonna give you a kiss. Oh he doesn't like that. Mm. Nothing on you. Mm. Cons to these lipsticks. I don't know if it's a con, but they don't last longer than the shelf life, which makeup doesn't claim to do that. Like no makeup does that, but the shelf life is 18 months and I do say they last 18 months, but then after that they start drying up in the tube they start to crumble on the lips more when you put them on. So it's not a formula that you're gonna be able to use for years. You're gonna be able to use it for the shelf, shelf life and that's it. So I don't know if that's a pro or a con. For me, it's a con because I use my liquid lipsticks until they dry out for as long as possible. Some formulas I find can last for years. This is not one of those formulas, so. Keep that in mind if you're someone like me that does that, though you're not supposed to do that. It's not recommended, so. Um, and I guess another con is they're not very buildable. Um, 
buildable, meaning you can't just keep layering it on. You can do about two to three layers. Like right now I'm wearing three layers. That's okay. More than that is gonna start to crumble on you. So sometimes I find a lot with the darker shades, it's not gonna be totally opaque. You're gonna do two or three layers. It goes on very thin like a gloss and then it might be a little translucent. You might be able to see your lips still underneath. So if you want something very opaque, again, these would not be for you. So that's the video for today. Please hit subscribe. I will be doing more baby kiss test videos, makeup reviews, giveaways, stuff on goth and punk fashion. So stay tuned for all of that. <laughs>